Uh, my name is Steve Lee. I'm the Extension Professor in College of Agriculture at Auburn University. Uh, I started an uh, agriculture degree back in 2004, so graduated from um, China Agriculture University in 2008 with a uh, bachelor degree of agronomy. Then I came to Auburn, started my master degree in turf, grass, weed science. Uh, didn't like turf grass that much and still want to go back to row crops, so went to uh, University of Georgia for a PhD degree in row crop weed science uh, and has been doing agricultural research ever since 2005. So my drone journey started in early 2020. I had been paying attention to different types of drones for a few years by then. Realized I have to do something different, um, uh, considering the uh, fast progression of artificial intelligence automation and everything we need to incorporate uh, in future research. Uh, we got our T30 back in the fall of 2021. And then we have we had been testing it and using the spray drone ever since. And now we have multiple uh, spray drone models. So we have progressed from um, drone rookies and slowly to uh, drone experts to tackle more difficult workflows and also uh, try new application methods. Agro Spray Drone has been a great friend uh, for my program and also they are very supportive of our research. The uh, owner, uh, Mr. Taylor Moreland, donated the uh, Agro ST40 Spray Drone that we use. Uh, in addition, their technical support is fantastic. We can typically get a response within one to two hours and then the new parts will be shipped out within the same day and we can get it overnight to repair the drone so we don't cause a delay um, when we are on a very tight schedule to conduct many different projects at the same time. Uh, for the spray drone, the biggest advantage it has compared to the other application method for application equipment is it is very versatile. You can use it for many different type of application, not only tied up to one crop or one type of cropping system. And also the entrance requirement is fairly low in terms of the investment on the equipment. New ground sprayer these days costs you minimum 350,000. So, uh, one full package of the large spray drone, such as Agris T40, costs you one tenth of that. It offers people a brand new way to spray or spread the product they need with fairly easy to use functions. Do not require a ton of experiences, such as getting licensed to do full scale crop dusting, and then fairly low cost of entry to purchase the hardware. So those make spray drone a very great fit, very nice fit for average farmer, particularly small farmers who has limited capital to purchase new equipment. So I think the biggest challenge for any new drone operator is to pass the initial learning curve in the first several months. And I have been telling my growers and my new operators that be prepared for a very sharp, steep learning curve. It will take time and hours to master the new technology, to set up the parameters uh, correctly, to manage the drift properly, and also to avoid obstacle and the potential collision risk. Uh, Agri Spray Drone, particularly uh, uh, Taylor, made a lot of uh, effort and they produce a lot of educational videos and make those videos online for people to view free of charge. Those all means a lot for, for all the operators in this industry because these are free resources from trustworthy source that everybody can rely on. So I feel particularly impressed by this specific point.
For new spray drone operators or for farmers, my most important advice is follow the regulation, follow the rules, and, and get the certificates and insurance liability coverage that you need. So make sure you run legal operation. The second, take time to learn because the initial, initial learning curve will be very steep. So you do have to prepare a little bit of time for yourself to get comfortable with your operation, to improve your operational efficiency. For most of the uh, people with pesticide application experience, I do expect they can master the spray drone application within three to six months. And then after that, if they spray enough acres and, and fields, they will be very proficient at that point. I do foresee the technology will continue to evolve and five years down the road, it may surprise all, all of us. I do believe we will get a true drone swarming, which means one operator will be, use, will be able to use one remote controller and operate multiple drones at the same time. And every job is synchronized to all the drones and they can do it accordingly. Uh, so I do foresee that will come in the near future. And also I'm hoping we will be able to get bigger drones and also with more flow rate. And these are the two things most of the operators are uh, you know, wanting. Uh, so I do have high hopes in the technology. It's going to continuously improve from this point. Um, we just have to give, give it a little bit of time.